Peter Vaughan is the co-author of a new book, How Trump Thinks, his tweets and the birth of a new political language. He joins us now from London. Good to speak to you. So what do you make of the US president's latest tweets showing himself beating up someone representing CNN as he calls his use of social media modern day presidential? Well, it's characteristic. We have a most unusual uh, president in the White House. He's the most, let's not forget that he's the most powerful man in the Western world, and he has his finger, one presumes, on the nuclear button. But it is what he's been doing before. He's made a series of outrageous uh, statements on media, he's on, on social media. He's repeatedly attacked CNN, which is quite a reputable uh, television channel, I think, and uh, numerous other channels while well, supporting um, his sort of cronies um, and um, so it is characteristic. And Trump supporters will see this probably as the biggest show ever but on the other hand the accusation that President Trump is inciting violence this kind of message what kind of effect does it really have on Americans and what is Trump trying to gain here? Well what he is doing is trying to mobilize his I guess, is trying to mobilize his core support against his mainstream critics. I mean, and it comes at a time when media is very much, main, you know, the, the, the free press, the free media is under threat around the world. Al Jazeera, we know you, that Al Jazeera is under very serious uh, menace. Uh, from uh, Saudi Arabia. We know that Mr. President Trump went to Saudi Arabia only a few weeks ago. We can see he's now attacking uh, CNN. Um, now, this is authoritarian behavior. We, uh, it, it is impossible to emphasize too much the importance of a free press, a free media, free broadcasters like CNN and Al Jazeera. And when, do, when authoritarian leaders or U.S. presidents attack them, uh, it's up to journalists to fight back. And if you could answer briefly, Peter, so are journalists playing into his hands but treating his off-the-cuff remarks and tweets as news stories? Shouldn't there be simply a focus on his policies? Look, uh, everything which a U.S. president does uh, is a matter of news, uh, whether he does it by a statement in, on the White House lawn or via social media. So, no, we are under a duty to pay attention to what he says and does. Well, thank you very much for joining us here on TRT World. Peter O'Bone, the author of Half Trump Thinks.